Alrighty, I kid you not. So I've just posted the video um, using the support set on Meilin to basically help out Jim Woo because again, it does give him that uh, attack increase. Now, I did do an attempt which I show showed at the end where I nearly beat the boss. Literally uploaded the video and I went in with another attempt and um, yeah, let's just say when it comes to a supportive character to provide more damage this new set itself um if we're using a support unit to how i'm utilizing mail-in being very quick on hand to then push all the buffs towards my main dps oh we are gonna have a fantastic time butchering through <laughs> future content that require well that help out our main dps character so just to kind of break it down obviously um the minute i tag out from Mei Lin. Uh, at that point in total, I'm accumulating and giving my uh, Alicia a total of 38% in increased damage. And that is from the new gear set alongside the connection set. Because obviously, if I ran the full new gear set, gear set being the blessing set, then I would only give her 20%. So I'll be losing out on, yeah, so I'll be losing out on an extra 18%. Whereas if you can, well, I mean, whereas, yeah, if, if I run both different sets being the blessing set and the connection set then yeah 38% is going towards Alicia and that's exactly what we want I love Chayen don't get me wrong but this consistency of core damage from Alicia it is too too broken in my eyes so right now as you guys can see we are just stomping the yards and I've got the unfortunate thing of I, I forget that I've got shadows at my disposal so like I could be doing chip damage but as you guys can see I'm just more in line of just getting the mailing in here because obviously with you once she's done her breakage her job is done right she she is there just to provide chip damage and shield outside of that nothing more um whereas mailin again she's just fully catering to uh, and support alicia now obviously in the previous video that i uploaded near the end i did kind of specify saying that you know imagine if we have a support unit that can provide us with revive i i, I think what could happen in September because you guys got to remember that I should, I should really do a, do for a, a separate video but I'll say it right now but I, I feel like with the support character coming in September either they're going to give us a great deal of amount of MP or provide revive and the reason why I mention MP is you'll see near the end of the fight where where let's say a main DPS character heavily relies on just utilizing their MP um, we can have a support character that can just generate a ton of that back uh, then the consistency of high damage output is just always there for us so hmm food for thought for, for, for September yeah we'll, we'll just say that much for future um, support characters but right now I'm going in you know uh, again Malin. I mean the, the crazy thing is with the gear set that I've got on for Malin, it's more for like I've got like damage set on her so and the thing is is that Malin is actually doing decent damage I'm not even gonna cap right now for a support character she's actually doing decent damage uh, which is great I guess you know I can't complain especially in this situation um, but right now as you guys can see we are going heavy heavy in the damage I'm getting lucky too to where I'm taking this HP and how I'm initiating the phases when the time is at two minutes so this is really good timing for hunters but there we go, he's knocked out cold. Again, just really, really pushing it for Alicia. She is going to be my main damage dealer. Obviously, once Alicia needs to kind of recharge a little bit, kind of get Jiwoo in here, because her ultimate at the time does get ready, since I do have um, uh, Malin's A3. So we do have the power gauge support right there. I, I, I really want to push for that A5 Malin, as well, because you know for a fact that at that point, Alicia is really going to be benefiting from it. The only thing that is left, I will say, for the completion of this team is Ji Woo to get the Greed gear set. Because Malin is going to be, again, pushing that 38%. The current gear set has been the Blessing set, being one of the new set. And then the other new set, being the Greed set, give that to Ji Woo. And then Alicia is getting a plus 30% increase in critical damage, right? 30%. Boom. Um, I probably will not give the. Um, curse set to Alicia. I feel like, well, I technically I could, and I can benefit from that 2020 trade off and get that 20% increased damage. But which I actually might test out actually now saying that. <laughs> but I think with the current situation with where Alicia is at right now, um, where I've got the toughness set on her, I think I'll just kind of stick with that. Just kind of furthermore support the uh, crit side of her. I am not running the solar foundation set. Um, I just don't have anything as good as what I have with my toughness set. FYI. But uh, yeah, final stage, 
We're going in. I'm looking at the timer. I'm looking at the health bar. Things are looking good. Obviously, we need to get him to below 30 so that way he can activate his shield. So I've got to time it just right and not waste the uh, second four attack or the up attack, should I say, from Mei Lin. So I've got to be cautious here because she is vital for this fight. She's a must. She is definitely a must character for this fight. So freezing the enemy. Time's on my side. He then goes in and uh, applies the shield. Thank God Mei Lin is ready to rock and roll. We break through. And at this very moment, it's all about just going all on the offensiveness. And this is kind of why I mentioned about a character or a support character that could help us regenerate um, a ton of MP. Because uh, obviously in, the, in, in, in this instance right here, as you guys can see with my main DPS character, yeah, it's not looking too good uh, in the, the MP department. So, Or maybe you make a support character where they can potentially give some of their MP. That would be pretty dope, right? I think I would actually prefer that. Because if you've seen how I'm re uh, utilizing Mei Lin as well as in support units in general, it it's more of an in and out type of deal with these characters, right? So yeah, that will be... Hopefully we can get a support unit where we can kind of siphon off their MP. That'd be pretty solid. But ladies and gentlemen, I did it. <laughs> just before the game goes into its update. Well, no, I say just before. It's like an hour left from when I'm recording this. But uh, yeah, we, uh, it's done with two seconds left to spare. And then the game just completely butchers me. <laughs> the game was like, yeah, about doing it with hunters, uh, making it more difficult. We're just not going to give you any legendary. So... Great success, <laughs> great success. But yeah, to furthermore support uh, my case in terms of the new support role, if you want to really cater to DPS damage, this right here, I would say is the better, better way of um, looking into furthermore pushing for more DPS damage. Um, yeah, and you, again, healing, you just got to keep in mind that with this gear set, I think that's an added bonus that I'm glad that they added in. Because I feel like that's another thing which some people will be catering to. And again, if you've got a gear set that can provide you with damage too, there's that. Because I know some people like to kind of cater more to the character in terms of, you know, give them HP and whatnot. But this kind of worked out beautifully. But yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to keep to this strategy. So for Hunters, I'm going to keep to this strategy. So I get the 10% in the increased damage dealt and then I get the 28% in the um, attack increase. So yeah, I, I think for Hunters, this is going to be the way forward. Um, and then as I mentioned beforehand, in a situation where you're building a team for Jin Wu um, and you're running a support character, then having the Burning Blessing set on this side will be recommended so that way this isn't exactly going to waste, right? Because I mean this is specifying when tagging out where this one actually specifies um, when using a support skill. So you might as well get the uh, extra 20% damage dealt and the additional healing. That being said, do I have anything? Let's have a look. Do I have a full set? Okay, so this isn't too bad actually. We can make that work. But what was this? Light. Oh my god, it's meant to be for Min. <laughs> oh wait, I can run it for Min. Oh, wait, that way. Oh my god. Christ almighty. See, this is what I mean. Bro, I'm, I'm literally about to build a sub DPS healer. Like, oh, not healer, but <laughs> um, a support character. What the frick? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I don't have the earrings. God damn it. Oh my god. To be fair, I can push this for um, Chai Yen for Min since I've got um, light damage support. Oh my. Yo, what is. I'm legit about to build a sub DPS support. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, just kind of wanted to. Uh, yeah, furthermore, uh, explain the difference between the Hunters and uh, the gym, uh, and running it with Jim Wu. So, I've got the Hunter support kit at the ready, and half of Jim Wu's support I'm kit. Just need Let's that one play. earring for the Blessing set, and then I've got the full support kit for both Hunters and Jim Wu. And Mei Lin is the perfect candidate. I think I'm just going to keep it between Mei Lin and Min. And then Libora will just depend on whether or not if we get a good breaker for Dark type at a later stage. But, yeah. There we go, the new support kit we'll for both Hunters and Jim Wu. We'll 